After weeks of intense fighting in the North Darfur capital of Al Fasha, the collapse of the city's main hospital was announced on Sunday. Charity organization Doctors Without Borders said paramilitary forces had targeted the medical facility in open disregard of the Geneva Conventions, safeguarding vital installations within a war zone. Now the ICC's chief prosecutor says the range and number of possible war crimes being committed in the conflict may be wider than feared. The evidence my office has collected to date seems to show credible, repeated, expanding, continuous allegations of attacks against the civilian population. In particular, attacks directed against camps for internally displaced persons. It seems to show the widespread prevalent use of rape and other forms of sexual violence. It seems to disclose consistently the shelling of civilian areas, the looting of properties, and attacks against hospitals. I am particularly concerned by the ethnically motivated nature of these attacks against the Masalit and other communities. Al Fasha is the last stronghold of the Sudanese armed forces in the Darfur region. Clashes have intensified as the paramilitary rapid support forces tries to wrest control of the city. With the number of deaths and injuries soaring, ICC has launched an urgent appeal for information and cooperation from all partners. We are appealing to all victim groups, all civil society organizations, national authorities and international partners that are able to do so to engage with my office and to provide any evidence and material relating to the ongoing atrocities being inflicted on the civilian population across Darfur. Sudan's conflict began in April last year after tensions between the leaders of the army and the RSF erupted into fighting in the capital, Khartoum, before spreading to other regions. The war has killed more than 14,000 people and wounded thousands more. It has also created the world's largest displacement crisis as more than 10 million people have been forced to flee their homes. Joy Kiruki Juma, CGTN. Nava Muhyiddin is in Port Sudan and joins us now for more on that. Nava, what, hi there, first of all. Nava, what has been the reaction in Sudan of the ICC seeking evidence of war crimes in Sudan's Darfur region? Um, actually, Hannah, it was highly welcomed decision by the uh, civil society groups, by activists and rights groups, because they think this is the time to uh, to uh, for the world to look at the uh, crimes that RSF is committing against civilians and targeting hospitals, targeting unarmed people in different villages in Khartoum, in Al Jazeera, and in Darfur. So it was highly welcomed by civil society and rights groups and we are expecting that the Sudanese Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Sudanese Sovereign Council will issue a statement regarding uh, welcoming the ICC uh, initiative to uh, look for evidence to, um, to, uh, to uh, prove that uh, the war crimes that took place in Darfur, Khartoum and Al Jazeera state by the RSF. So Nabil, what can you tell us about the committee? We hear that a committee has been set up by the military to look at the ongoing clashes and humanitarian impact of the war. What more can you tell us about that? Uh, actually, Hannah, whenever uh, the war extends, there is a more, uh, the violence is, uh, of course, is more and the impact is very big on civilians and on civilian infrastructure and on humanitarian crisis. Uh, so the evidence are so many for ICC to look at, but they are waiting for the right groups and activists and uh, formal institutions to file those evidence to ICC. We are expecting that uh, RSF will, of course, respond to uh, this ICC. Uh, request to look for their crimes and they will deny it, of course. But we are expecting that uh, on the ground there will be more escalation and we are fearing that uh, um, RSF will target more villages in Al Jazeera state and in Al Fashir. So right now it's really the time for international communities, for rights groups, for activists 
to uh, all together to stop at least the violence against civilians and call for the two warring parties to, to stop the war so civilians will be out of um, of the um, of the conflict but uh, we are expecting that RSF will have a harsh response um, on media they will deny all of the accusations and allegations but on the ground they will escalate especially in Al Jazeera and in Al Fashir.